Our job is to make a wind farm with multiple structures look like a single obstruction. By combining several different marking methods, we can communicate that there is something large to avoid and help you navigate through it. Even before anything is put in the water, the construction site has to be cordoned off. This is done with cardinal buoys at key positions, as well as intermediate warning buoys along the perimeter of the wind farm site. Once an obstruction, such as a foundation, is in the water, it needs to be visible to mariners. With no mains power, self-contained lanterns with integrated batteries and solar panels for charging are needed. We call this temporary marking. Once construction has finished, these lights are removed and the permanent marking system is turned on. Besides just signaling an obstruction, the marine lanterns also help give orientation by indicating where the outside perimeter of the wind farm is. The sophistication of these lights, together with synchronization, provide a clear and balanced message to the mariner and avoids light pollution. Each turbine has a unique alphanumeric name this has to be visible 24-7, and thus illuminated at night to ensure safe search and rescue or special service operations. During times of low visibility, a fog signal gives an audible warning to mariners with a clear signal of at least two nautical miles around the entire wind farm. Sending an automatic identification system, or AIS signal, allows the wind farm to appear on digital maps. Aviation lights warn low-flying aircraft of the hazards in front of them. In the end, all these components are brought together into a single system. Everything is monitored and controlled through the SCADA interface. They are synchronized and have the appropriate battery backup should mains power be lost. SABIC Offshore, your experts in marking offshore wind farms.